school, I would just go home and I'd be bored and I'd be lonely and I wouldn't have the time with my friends that I do um, every day and I don't know, it's just, it's so worth it. How has losing Miss Kina from the show affected you? Um, well, personally, she was kind of like, like my role model, my like guiding person. She would always be there for me if I needed help. Um, but I feel like she set me up for success for the last two times that I was um, stage managing a show. And I kind of remembered what she told me the last two um, shows from last year. And I kind of just kept that wisdom in my mind. And I was able to move on, especially with Miss Donovan kind of by my side as well. How do you like having the little children around? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can you, are you going to edit this? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the children were adorable and most of the time they did what they needed to do, but of course they're not as experienced as everyone else. So it was a little frustrating um, for them, especially when we were yelling at them to do things and they didn't understand because, you know, they're little and they, they're young and, but, um, I think by the end they definitely got a hold of what it was all about and especially um, you know the girl who played Tiny Tim, Maeve, was just absolutely wonderful and a lot of them got to know um, how it works and it was really cool to watch them like learn it all. What would you say is your most favorite part of the show? <coughs> like the show itself or like the process? Either one. Um, I really like, this is going to sound dumb, but I really like the week leading up to Q to Q and Q to Q itself and Tech Week. Not because it's fun. I don't like Tech Week <laughs> at all. It's so tiring. But it's so cool to watch everything come together and be able to learn my calls and kind of figure out how the cues work. and all of the stuff that we've been working on for the past few months all fit together um, into a beautiful show. How does staying after school so late affect your academic life? Um, not very well. Uh, I'll be here between 9.30 to 10.30 sometimes. I mean, not 10.30, but 10. Um, and it makes me kind of stay up super late, so I'll be doing homework till 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. And then sometimes, because it's so late, I'll forget to do other pieces of homework. Um, and then I'll be tired all day, so it doesn't really affect it very well. Okay. Is it worth it, though? Yes, it is worth it. Um, being on stage, especially, I realized after our matinee show at 2 last Sunday that um, running out on stage and bowing and having the whole auditorium clap for you is really really rewarding so why do you stay well <clears throat> I just said it was super rewarding so there's a bunch of people that you're surrounded by that you um, relate to that have the same interests as you and um, after every show just hearing it, the whole auditorium clap for you and understand how much you put into the show and how hard you worked and what is the most stressful aspect um, I would say the most stressful aspect is Tech Weeks because we are there nonstop. You're at school, depends on what time you get here, but I'm here at 8 a.m. and then you'll leave at like 9. So it's a, it's a really long, long process of a day and then you're trying to figure out how the show's going to look and it doesn't always necessarily fit together until opening night, so it's really stressful for that to happen. How has losing Mrs. Uh, Kuna from the show affect you? Um, Ms. Kuna was a, our director, so it's really difficult to lose her in the middle of us putting on our show. She gave us the tools to finish it. She gave us plenty of you know, time with her before she left, but it's, it's stressful. And then as an officer, um, you become really close with her, and losing her, you know, 
throughout the day is really difficult. I would just kind of go down there during studies and talk to her. She's my theater mom, so it's kind of tough losing that. How have you liked having the little kids running around? Um, I liked them being there. They have brought in a great, great amount of new people into our theater family, and we've had greater audiences with them being there, which is amazing. Um, it is a little difficult though. I've had to work with them a lot one on one because, you know, when you're that little, it's hard for you to remember where you're supposed to be at what time. You're not as socially aware at that age. So they're anywhere from like third to sixth grade. So it's a tough, it's a tough age. But they are all very, very sweet. And Julia, who plays Tiny Tim, is amazing, phenomenal. And so is Maeve. Um, so it's been. Good. What is the overall feeling being in this show? Um, I would say probably, I've said rewarding a lot, so probably rewarding. You know, I put a lot of hard work into the show, both on and off stage. Um, and as an officer, I've worked a lot with new freshmen and to see everything finally come together, feels rewarding. Being, being, um, staying after so late, it's hard to get my work done because mm -hmm. I am extremely drained from working so hard at, um, during the production, like, hours, and I just want to, like, go home and sleep, so, like, I have to, like, wake up early or wait till, like, my study the next morning to, like, do my work, and it kind of, it kind of builds up. Um, is it worth it? Yes. It is so worth it. I absolutely love the show that I'm doing, and it's so productive to like work on a show and then like be able to perform in front of an audience on stage. <laughs> okay. Um, why do you stay so late? I stay so late because if I don't, then we don't get a lot of work done, and then we have to like we're not gonna we won't be ready for the actual like show. What is the most stressful aspect of the show? I feel like. Personally, opening night and tech week. Like that week leading up to opening night is so, so stressful because like if you're not off book, you can't call line because everything is focused on the technical side of it because they don't have a lot of time to prepare their tech stuff only instead of only on Fridays. So I feel like that week is so stressful because you don't really, you're not really being babied in that sense. Like you are for like the beginning part where it's focused on you. Yeah. Um. How long is, how has losing Miss Tina from the show affected you? It's been hard. It was, it's been really hard because we, it's like switching directors in the midway through the show. And so like you're, so you're getting used to one way a director does things and then you finally get used to it and then it changes to a new director and a new way that the director like does whatever they do. And so it's hard it was really hard because like we were just kind of thrown into like okay i'm your director now and then it changed it was so different from what it was before to what it is now but it still it turned out to be great <laughs> okay um how have you liked having the little children around it's been a, it's been a blessing and a curse i feel like they're a key aspect of our show and it's really fun to work with them but Sometimes, since because they are so young, it can be very challenging to work with them because I don't want to sound rude, but like sometimes our attention span can be very short. And so being able to like give them a direction and then like 30 minutes later, they'll forget what their direction is. And you have to, you have to be very repetitive and very patient. So when it's in the midst of like say tech week and they're not listening, they're talking, or they're not taking directions like we want, like we're used to, just give it, be, given it, be given a direction and going for it. It's hard to like stop, pause, reset, re-instruct them how to do things. So it's been really great to work with them and they're amazing, but like in the beginning stages, it's been, it was difficult. Thank you so much.